Drinking can make beautiful miniatures into a spider infested relic. I've made and tested over 100 FDM miniatures. There are five ways that you can beat stringing. However, I have made one brutal mistake that I will never make again. The first thing that you can do and which is the most effective solution is to dry your filament and you have a good and a bad option. The good option is a dedicated filament dryer. You can get a single spool dryer or a multiple spool dryer from various companies. I have recently gotten the AMS2 Pro and that can dry my filament. It has done a great job for me, but it is a very, very expensive option. But the good news is that there are many cheap options out there that do the exact same thing. I did not regret spending a little extra for my AMS2 Pro so I could get that drying option. The second option is a dedicated food dehydrator or a air fryer. If it can run between 40 and 60 Celsius for hours, then you are golden. But huge fucking warning. Do not make food in that machine anymore. Microplastic is a real thing and it will contaminate your machine if you use it to dry your filament. So for the love of God, do not use your oven and check if the spool that is holding the filament can take the heat as well. It is an option, but I would advise against it. That was my huge brutal mistake. I did not think about the microplastic in the filament. The third option is to store your new filament in a proper area and containers. If you can dry your filament, then you can take care of your new spools. So please place your PLA in an airtight bag, like a vacuum bag, with a moist absorption package or whatever you call it, and then place the PLA in a cool, dark place so it will not get any direct sunlight. A good place would be under the bed. This one is a little bonus check if you want to test if your filament is dry and has been proper stored. We can actually go into our slicer and check if the filament is dry with some tests. If you are a beginner, then fear not. On the box or on the spool of your filament, it shows which temperatures your filament can be printed within. So all you have to do is go into your slicer, go into your filament settings, increase the minimum temperature or decrease the maximum temperature within the range that is on your filament. That kind of testing takes a lot of print time. However, you can also print a string tower, which you can find on most 3D printing platforms. What it does is that it tests the filament by printing in a certain temperature from each layer. And then you can see where the stringing will occur. So that is everything that you can do before you print. However, what are your options after you have already printed your miniatures? Like this one, you got two options. I have tried with a lighter and a heat gun. However, if you're not fast enough, then the miniature can get burnt, it can melt and it can warp, which is not ideal. However, a heat gun, you move the miniature or the gun really fast, this is much safer and it takes a little bit longer for the miniature to melt. There are normal heat guns out there, but I have no experience with those. I bought this one because it was small and I could just fit it in a drawer. I would definitely recommend a heat gun because it can take the most brutal stringing from PLA and PETG. After you have used your heat gun, then you just take your fingers or a really hard brush and then remove the excessive stringing away. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the... Oh, I got a Maker World page where you can get support as miniatures. And if you want to talk about FDM 3D printed miniatures, then this channel is for you. I'll see you later.